right, when you download a digital escape room from our store in Twins and Teaching, you will automatically download a PDF. The PDF will take you to a um, Google Form link that will take you to the actual escape room. So the PDF is going to include the answer key so that you can help your students or check the answers yourself here, but it is self-correcting the Google form. So you'll need that just to help them as they move through. So on about the third page, second or third page, depending on the escape room, you're going to click Google form link and that will force you to make a copy. And when you get to the Google form, you're going to notice that you will see it in um, a teacher's view. Um, you may want to preview this ahead of time before you assign it to your students. So you can click on this preview button here, the I. When you click on the I, you'll notice that you can click on these links as a student would after they read the directions. So once they click on each link to get to the code, it will force them to make a copy so that there's not multiple answers for multiple students in the Google form. Um, so when they click on the clue, they'll move through the clues. And when they find the answer, they'll type those into the boxes here. And then ultimately they're going to go back to the Google form and type in their answer. If they, let me get to the right one here. If they type in the wrong answer, you'll notice that they won't be able to move to the next breakout code. So that's how it's self-correcting. Um, and so they'll move through all of these until they complete them and then they'll submit that. When you want to assign this to your students, you'll take your copy here, your version, and you'll either um, copy the URL and make sure the end says copy so that each student is forced to make their own copy and assign that in Google Classroom or you can send this to their email. Um, and that is how you assign the digital escape rooms.